someone decided to steal all the wires and wiring harnesses off of all our equipment. Why? Because they could get five bucks for their next drug addiction or drug fix, I guess. I don't know what they're gonna do. It's like 18 gauge wire. There's maybe $3 worth of wire. I phoned all the manufacturers and suppliers for the plows and long story short, the quote came to roughly $1,700 plus tax to repair all the wiring harnesses that this guy decided he needed for whatever reason. Maybe he has his own plows that are identical to ours and they broke down and he decided he needed those wires. I don't know. Anyways, they jacked our wires and it snowed the next day. Thankfully, we were able to get by with the equipment we had for the snow removal. Man, homeboy is just suicidal here. Just walked out in front of what a guy. Just walked out in front of traffic. Long story short, we gotta get them fixed. I was able to fix one already. We'll go over that. But fixed the metal plus, which I mean, that's the flagship plow. That's gonna do the most work. We need to get that fixed right away. So that one got fixed already. He uh, did a little bit of modification. That wiring harness, it was only one wiring harness with two, um, forget the name of them now. They're solenoid, um, man, forget the word. Basically, it's a wiring harness with a female end that plugs into the machine. So you can disconnect that when you disconnect the implement. And then it has two relays that plug into the solenoid so that when you flip the switch, it engages a solenoid, which then in change engages one of the valves so the hydraulic lines can operate the different parts of the plow because there's two wings and then the main mold board and all those move. So to keep cost down and to keep a million buttons and everything, to keep everything simple, there's just a three position switch that toggles two solenoids. So each solenoid engages when you want to activate a certain part of the plow. So basically those two and the wiring harness, 250 bucks. And I made it for finding the two relay cartridges that plug into the solenoids. And that was the hardest part. Actually, shout outs to Princess Auto, because they had them for $6.99 a piece. So that is 14 bucks there. And then I bought wire, which actually we had some spare wire, so that was free. And then I bought two ends one for the plow and i got rid of the existing end that's on the loader and put the new end on there so that they match and those were 10 bucks each so taxes in were like 40 bucks and i didn't have to wait for i think the plows out of montreal shipping was going to be like two weeks basically made it the same day i love everything with wheels on it makes life easy Wheels on the, wheels on the table. Oh, we get caught on stone. There we go. So what we're gonna do is there's a jumper that goes from each one where you're common on all these. All these here have a common, and I'm thankful because at least the guy didn't break these off. So could have been worse. Could have been better. And then it looks like we got another leak. This thing is always. Look at all this. Always leaking. I don't get it. Uh, there's still some fluid in there. Anyways, we're gonna take a measurement. And we're just gonna daisy chain them all. I wire them around. So we need these ones here are short. And these ones here are longer. So we got one, two, three, four together. So we got four of the same. So we'll make those first. We'll take our wire, do we'll this one. Just kind of figure out roughly how long our wire is going to be, which that's probably good. So you get four of those. Four of these bad boys. Four. 
for the same length. Roughly. I mean, we're not we're not building a piano. Strip them. Strip them. Struggling here. Been retired for too long. Next, we need one from here to here, or from there to there. One. They don't really have to be the same length, that's just that's my OCD being kicking in. So that's two, three, four of those boys. And then we got one that goes, so we're gonna have one that goes from here to here, here to here. So that's the four we just made. And then from here, it's gonna go around to here. Actually, it's gonna go around to here. So I need one that goes there. Then we finish stripping him. Next up, next up we gotta string these bad boys together. There's also this solenoid, which is for down pressure. We need one more wire. Goes from here to there. Down pressure silk mode. Oh yeah, that's the easiest part. Now we need the crimps. I should have actually bought ones for bigger wires, but these are 16 to 14. We will use these ones. So we just want to give the wire a little twist. Then the crimp is gonna go on just like that. And there's a little notch right here. So that, I don't know if you guys see that or not, but like that. That's it. Crimped. Except we're gonna heat shrink it too. It's a tight fit, but there we go. Next is these little short ones. Twist the wires together. Now I use my linesman for this. Then take this guy on there. But before we do that, gotta make sure we got heat shrink for that. We do have white ones. Now it won't look as good colored, but beggars and choosers. So same thing. Just like that. Just like that. I'll show you what that guy's looks like. So, what we got going on is, that goes on like this. This will go on like that. And then the next one will go right here. Boom. So, now we need a long one. So now we'll get it on there. One of these long ones. Let's twist those together. Same thing, linesman. It's a little bit longer, so we're just gonna trim the edge out of that. And then we need another piece. We already got it cut. But now this is me being anal. They're not the same length. So we're gonna take off a bit. Is it that important? No, but. Me being particular. Okay. Another crimp. 
There you go. Now you got a jumper. Now I need another short one. Check it out. Okay. So this one goes like that. Soldering, very easy. What we want is to heat up the metal and then have the solder bleed into the heated space. Just gonna heat that up nice, doesn't take long. And there you have it. That's not coming off. It's one of the biggest problems I have with this plow is these open off. That's it. This side's done. So then you take your heat gun. come off unless you heat them back up which is good and bad it's good in that we won't have them falling off anymore it's bad in that if we have to get them off it'll be a bitch now we gotta do the other side Next up, we're going to make all the wires for each solenoid. So there's the wiring diagram. Update. So label the letters on each of these so I don't have to keep referring to this wiring diagram and then one side I made red and I labeled them all so I know where they go and the other side's blue and I also labeled those I got two left so once that's done we got the computer out oh, there's the computer 
And so on the computer, each wire has a separate color. Now we don't have, I think it's 16 or 17 different wire colors. So we got blue, red, black. I also have white, but I didn't bother. So we're just gonna do blue and red and we're gonna label it. We'll come up to here and then we'll clean up all this wiring after that. Then I have a harness. I don't know where it is. I go find it, but I got a harness for the power to hook up to the truck because they cut that off as well. We'll get those hooked up, then we'll flip it around, connect it to some type of thing. The only problem is with these, I'm gonna have to figure out how we're gonna wire those up, but we'll pop them open and figure out a way and go from there. All right, so well, news update. All right, we're here. So basically we got power on, everything's labeled on this side. Nice little wire loom to keep everything kind of nice and tidy. And now we got to do the blues. So these guys are tied to here. And then when that's done, uh, we'll do the power cable. And then that's it.